Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing four super easy and quick instant pot recipes. They are all so delicious, take no time at all to make and all of the recipes are also very family friendly. Hopefully this video gives you all lots of new meal ideas when you're not sure what to make and want to cook something that doesn't take you hours, especially if you have young children like I do. I don't have time to be on the stove for hours and hours. And if you're new to this channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I post at least one foodie video a week to give you all some meal inspos. So there's a lot more to come. But without further ado, let's get started with the first meal. So the first meal I'm going to be making is a really easy, quick, tasty lamb stew. And the first thing that I do is chop up my onions. I'm using two large onions i love love onions and i will use it everywhere that i can just to get some extra veggies in and then i will grate around four to five garlic cloves once all the cloves are grated i will push it to the side and make a start on peeling my potatoes Once my potatoes are all nicely chopped, I will then make a start on my carrots, which I have actually washed. I'm using two because this meal is only to last us one day. So I don't want the meat to veg proportion to not be equal because I always get that wrong. This time I got it perfect. So here are the other ingredients I'm using apart from the meat and the spice. So I've got the onions, chopped up garlic, carrots and potatoes so now that everything is all chopped up and it's out of the way i'll start with the meal so i have my instant pot set to saute mode and i'll get my olive oil i love love cooking with olive oil and then i'll pop in my meat that has been washed i have actually recently stopped using table salt based on a lot of your recommendations and i've started to use sea salt and i see a massive difference once i've added in the salt i add in white pepper because i didn't have black pepper but if you do just add that in so all i'm trying to do is brown the meat on both sides so that it has a nice color to it or so that it is not all red anymore so once that's done i just get all the meat out of the instant pot and just put it in a bowl so once all the meat is out of the instant pot using the oils and all the meat juices that's left in there i'll just add the chopped onions Mix it around and you see all that brown bit that's stuck underneath the pot. Once you add a little bit of water, it loosens up and that makes a really nice gravy. So you don't want to get rid of that and it gives the overall meal a great flavour. And once the onions are a little bit softened, I'll add in the carrots, the potatoes and then I'll add the lamb back in. And then I'll add in the grated garlic, give it a little mix. And then I'll start adding in our spices or one by one. So we're going to start with cumin, coriander, oregano, parsley. And then I just chop it up with a little bit of salt and pepper, which I'm not sure I showed, but I'm pretty sure I didn't show it. And then I added two bay leaves, give that a quick mix. I also like to add a little bit of the bistro onion gravy which is so delicious in any meat stew and to finish it off I add some beef stock, give it one last mix, close the instant pot and I make sure that the seal is on and then I use the meat stew setting on high pressure for 25 minutes and once the 25 minutes is up we are ready to serve. This is how my husband had his just in a bowl like that with no bread the children and i had it with some crusted bread because we're not scared of bread we love our carbs <laughs> my husband does not the next meal we're going to make is a cajun cheesy pasta and the kids love this and we start off with chopping up some onions i only had red onions in so that's what i used so that's my onions ready i then set my instant pot to saute mode once again put some olive oil saute the onions Once the onions are sautéed and nice and softened, I'll add this beautifully marinated chicken breast, which my husband marinated maybe a day or two ago. So it's 
very flavorful 48 hours of marination on that chicken and then I'll just try to get a nice brown golden color onto the chicken so once the chicken is pretty much cooked I will then get it out of the instant pot put it in a bowl We move on to our next step which is adding some pasta yes uncooked pasta and then you add in some water and then I add in some fine sea salt told you guys I'll stop using table salt so thank you so much to whoever it is that recommended that and then I added in a knob of butter you can add a lot more or a lot less or none at all the butter is what makes the dish and I'll set the instant pot to high pressure for four minutes and have the vent on so make sure you don't forget to do that once the four minutes is up, the pasta is cooked, it soaked up all that water and you can see very well cooked. I add in my cheese, so I have red Leicester, mozzarella and normal cheddar and then I add in the chicken, mix it up a little bit. I add in a little bit of sour cream, so whatever I had left in the pot, I don't really measure things, I just guesstimate. So just guess, depending on how much ingredients or pasta or chicken you have. And the last ingredient is spinach. I don't usually add spinach, but because I had some spinach that were going to go off, I decided to just wash, chop and add it in there. It doesn't kill to have a bit of veg, does it? <laughs> so you can add whatever you like. Sweet corn, spinach, no spinach. Just experiment with it. And this is how it looks once it's all mixed in together. It smells so good and it tasted even better. So my husband is here serving my youngest my one-year-old liana and he obviously put way too much i told him he's a bit over ambitious with how much she eats so she actually ate so much of this and i was very impressed i'm very happy so that's how it turned out this is my plate so the next meal is going to be a very delicious chili con carne which is so easy to make and with the instant pot it basically cuts down the time by half maybe <laughs> so I just add in some oil some beef mince and then I'm just breaking up the mince so that it gets a nice even brown color and it cooks all over whilst Leanne in the background you can see is basically trashing the cupboards I don't mind because this meal is not going to take long whatsoever once the meat is browned I'll add in the onions and just make sure that I try to get the mince as fine as possible I don't like big chunks in there and then I add in some grated garlic Mix it up once more. Once it's mixed in, I add in this Coleman's Chili Con Carne Sachet. And this is so good. It's very flavorful. You don't need to add other ingredients, but I like to add this Peri Peri Lemon and Herb Seasoning. And I added in one tablespoon of flour, some salt, some pepper, mix all of that up together once it's all mixed in and the meat is fully coated in the spices and then i'll add in some beef stock mix it up one final time add in my veg and today i wanted to add in some sweet corn and kidney beans i usually just do kidney beans but because i wanted to make it a little bit more veggie based add in extra and then you can add in some chopped tomatoes or just tomato puree close the lid i put the setting on high pressure for four minutes exactly four minutes and this is how it turned out it doesn't take any time whatsoever and so this is how liana's plate looked like i did some sour cream some grated cheddar cheese and some rice so next we're going to make another delicious recipe this one is veggie based i just wanted something that had no meat in it basically and very tasty very delicious so if you're a vegetarian you're going to love this please try it so chop up your onions your garlic your tomatoes and then i have some spices here so i have some cumin seeds um star anise cloves and cardamom pods so add that to some hot oil that i used olive oil i believe i add it in my onions you don't want the whole spices to burn so you just want it to flavor the oil it just gives it a really nice smell and taste to your food so i just saute the onions for a little bit and then i add in my chopped tomatoes once the tomatoes are in i give it a quick little mix and then it's time to add in your spices so i've added in turmeric cumin again i just estimate a little bit of coriander and then I had this karai seasoning mix, so I added a little bit of that. 
it gave you a really really nice flavor so you don't need to add that if you don't have it if your pot looks quite dry instead of adding in more oil just add some water so it just gives it a nice paste I add in some sea salt and then it's time to add in your washed chickpeas so I added in my chickpeas, I added in my potatoes, I decided to add potatoes last minute and the mixture was looking a bit dry so I added in some more water. And then I forgot to show you guys the most important bit which is double cream. Make sure you do that. Have your instant pot on high pressure for 10 minutes and that's exactly how long it takes to have the perfect chickpea curry on an instant pot so once the curry is done cooking i add my coriander and it's done i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe give this video a like turn on your bell notifications to be alerted when i post a new video and i'll see you in my next one